If a woman deliberately brings sexual thoughts in her mind and as a result emits something, does this break her fast and is she sinful for this? Okay, first question, a man or a woman who fantasize sexual thoughts. Now, scholars have differed. Schools of thought said that he's sinful all the way because he's bringing these thoughts to himself. Other school of thought said, no, we have the principle which is mentioned by the Prophet ﷺ, that Allah has forgiven, has pardoned my ummah for my sake, for whatever intrusive thoughts that they have, as long as they do not talk about it or act upon it. This means that if a person is sitting and he fantasizes or he thinks of his boss and he says, oh, I wish I can smack him in the face and beat the heck out of him. If he sees a woman that is a gorgeous, beautiful woman crossing the streets and he looks at her, he's sinful for this first gaze. But if thoughts go into his mind and he doesn't talk about it and he doesn't act upon it, he is not sinful for such thoughts because the Prophet had told us والسلام, that Allah has pardoned our ummah for his sake. Now the question is what if this person, man or woman, had discharge? We know that there are different types of discharge that come out of a person's private parts. So for a woman it's either vaginal discharges which are 24-7 continuous coming and the most authentic opinion is that this is pure and does not nullify wudu. It takes the same ruling as sweat. It just comes out. There is what is known as urine and urine breaks your wudu and it's najis. There is also what is known as madhi, prosthetic fluid and this comes whenever someone is uh, um, in situations of intimacy, flirting, or thinking about sexual thoughts. This mevi or prosthetic fluid is emitted. This breaks wudu and it is najis. The other type of discharge is what is known as semen, many. And this is recognized by coming out in a gushing fashion, not stealthily, not slowly, but it comes out in a gushing fashion accompanied with a feeling of sensation and lust. And this obligates upon the person who ejaculated it to perform a major ritual uh, uh, ghusl, to uplift his major ritual impurity known as ghusl and he would be in the state of janaba until he performs that ghusl. So this depends on what type of discharge a woman gets but to answer the first question or the first part of the question these thoughts intrusive thoughts are not sinful. Are they recommended Sheikh? No of course not. It's best for you to stop it because Satan may utilize them not in the near future but later on when he starts building scenarios in your head if I did this, if he did this, if she did that and then it would make one's evil soul look up to it and say when would that happen? So this is definitely not a good thing to do.